So, pardon the mess here. This is uh, my room slash workshop slash whatever. Um, I just wanted to shed some light. This is incredibly, uh, the What's Miner M21, um, I could not find anywhere online, literally anywhere. Uh, I mean, this isn't a no-name miner, second to ant miner, what's miner, it's probably the most well-known ASIC manufacturer. Um, and uh, the, I'm not, there's third-party firmware for this, but I'll get to that in another video. The factory low power mode, I could not find that information anywhere online. Um, so I, I've got several of these units and uh, this is fully tuned. Um, takes about an hour for it to do the, the full tune. Um, and obviously I'm using a step up, step down, plus the 6% energy loss. So just say 12, uh, 1200 watt, um, or it, it does 24 terahash um, in low power mode. So 50 watts per, um, or like, you know, every, every unit varies. Um, some of them get 25, um, but this unit is just three minutes into the running, um, and, uh, let's see. You can just see the frequencies, like each board's a little different, this board a little bit weaker than that but just say they did eight each that's uh 24 um and uh some boards like in regular power mode this one did 28.7 on average uh some units do all the way up to 30 31. um at 31 it takes 1800 watts I just look at the five second hash rate. Like that's almost 25, but 24 average, just say. That's only 50 watts per terahash. Um, so that would it rival the S15. Be, for example, the S15 does 50 watts as well, but in low power mode, it's at 18 terahash at 900 watts. Um, and then in high power mode, the S15 is. Uh, 28 terahash at um, 1800 watts. So literally these are neck to neck. Um, the only difference is uh, the M21 price point's a little cheaper um, and it's actually more stable. Um, like the M21 could beat out the S9 as far as stability goes. Um, so just just a very, very amazing, very stable workhorse. It's going to just run forever. Um, miner that's just, uh, you know, not the most recent generation, but if you're coming from like running S9s and stuff, great units and stuff. But those would be like the old generation of the M3 with the old generation flux miner. But the M21 is, you know, still viable miner. It makes about Fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars a day. So even at residential electric, if you make making ten dollars a day profit, um, and the price point isn't at ten grand, like all the new new generations, like the S19 or the What's Miner M30, um, you know, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, fifteen for the top of the line miner, thousand dollar miners. Um, this is a good name. It's not a no name. Um, it reuses the M3 shell. For example, this is the M3 hash board. Like you can see that this used to be an M3. Literally, I can't believe Bitman didn't do this with the S9. Definitely with the ant box. Uh, but literally, you take an M3, you pull out the M3 hash board, and you do, you throw whatever you want to do with fossils. <laughs> you, you just, that's all. You just get rid of that, and then you pop the M21 hash boards in here, utilizing everything, the control board, the power supply, P5 from the M3. Um, I printed my own labels because even the side of it said M3. So the only difference is the hash board. Uh, really simple, beautiful. Again, I really expected Bitmain to do that with the S9. Um, 
And at, at any rate, all this little stuff between shipping from the manufacturer, just to ship out hash boards instead of shells, like every from every step makes this the M21 the most the best bang for your buck for a for a name brand miner because all those little savings um you know buying used units even from the farm like that gets passed on the unit costs less to make because you already had the m3 um so for example this unit is cheaper than the s15 um, the antminer s15 by a considerable amount um so if the s15 three grand uh this is 2200 um and uh this outperforms the s15 now i love the s15 don't get me wrong the s15 um right here i, I use the apw nines and i and i make the s i have firmware for the s15 i love the s15 is a great miner but you're paying for the ant miner brand and, and the s15 is still 7nm but it's not the 17 series 17 series guys i know from experience uh if you've seen my other video just i if i just started mining and i bought the 17 series i wouldn't have been mining anymore the failure rate it was it was incredible uh, but the s15 is not the s17 so it still has the the s17 and the s uh any 17 series has the heat sink uh soldered directly to the chip um the s9 and any other ant miner uses a, a black paste so just from shipping uh the 17 series like heat sinks would be falling off left and right um and uh i just want to reiterate the s15 is, is not like that it's reliable but not even as reliable as the m21 like this miner is uh even more reliable has a smaller factor of failure rate than the s9 which is revered as the best asic miner ever developed here so for the price point if you're looking to you know get a miner that's uh, uh you know with aftermarket firmware which i'll cover in another video uh and, and in lower, lower power modes, you can get this into the 40s watts per terash, which uh, is right up there with the, with the leading generation miners. Like the, the M31 is uh, 40, uh, 47 watts per terahash. Uh, granted, it does 80 terahash. But if you're looking at the efficiency, um, this, this miner, of course, is, is a quarter of the cost uh, of the any of the newer miners um and same with the s15 the s15 is overlooked because it's a very small batch um for 7nm if you if you think of it as a nanometer size for 7nm it's it's not that impressive um the stats they quickly they made the s15 and very quickly after just two batches released the s17 so the s15 has kind of been overlooked uh because the s17 came out with published stats that are amazing like um again the, the miners are very unreliable if you're gonna buy a 17 series the only 17 series to get is the s17 pro it uses a different solder and is a little bit more reliable but the t17 the s17 base model or the s17 plus or the s17e or the t17e all of those absolutely stay clear of the price points are very attractive because they are rubbish the S17 Pro is the only model that, if you again, just stay clear of the 17 series. But if you're gonna, the S17 Pro, set right. Don't try and overclock it. If anything, use firmware like Vanish that has EPUs protection in it from factory. Like uh, MSK does too. Any of these third-party guys, um, and you you can you can actually run them stably. Um, but. Uh, you still got to baby them and when you ship them a couple of them are going to come to you with the heat sinks falling off and um just yeah anyways if you're not definitely if you're just starting do not get a 17 series line the s15 very reliable very sturdy um will ship to you just fine m21 is without question like if you're just starting mining there's nothing else i would get um uh, this might like 30 tera hash again the s15 uh i'm just trying to show the generation that this fits in um which wouldn't be the latest generation but um the stability of it the longevity of it um 
just like with the S9. The S9 is a brilliant miner, brilliant. Uh, with factory aftermarket firmware, you can get it down to 70 watts per terahash. Like, for example, I run Boss Miner, I run mine at 800 watts at 12 terahash, um, which is impressive. It's uh, the price point on the S9, so next to nothing. Like, you find them for under a grand. Um, but if you want to be able to get 30, well, 30 terahash while still only getting 50 watts, you just have to step up. This is 10 nm. Um, this is the next generation of miner, the most stable. Um, and uh, I've just, I, I absolutely am in love with it. The beautiful, beautiful miner that you just don't see any information about, um, literally anywhere. I, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, so, anyways, if you guys are thinking about it or been looking for for a good priced miner, and like right now, Bitcoin, for example, at the time of this video is at sixty-eight thousand. And it's just like, you know, you want to get like the S19, or 15 grand per unit for the pros, 14, 13 grand for used out of warranty non-pros. It's just, you know, most people's cars don't even cost that much. And it's just got a little bit out of hand. Um, so unless you got in early and you've been mining like some of us have, it's, it's good to, like, introductory. You can still get into mining uh, profitably. Um, this, this is a amazing entry miner um plug and play very reliable massively 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 recommend um and just uh you can't there's no information out there so i'm hoping this helps a little bit with anybody that's interested and um i will post another video i'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link right here <laughs> with the third party firmware and tuning um you know more advanced stuff but um just factory settings, guys. The factory settings with the low power mode. Um, 25 terahash, 1200 watts. Um, and they vary, plus or minus, you know. Some some units will, will actually be at the 48 watts per terahash. Um, from factory, right out of the box. Uh, for the price. Um, again, these are, at the time of this video, again, 68 grand. These are um, the last batch I got. They were $2,000 each. I had to buy 100 of them. But <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I just think of it this way. If you've got three of these for six grand, you put the three of them together in low power mode, um, you get more terahash than the M31. Um, and uh, obviously three of them, so that's 75 because I'm running them in low power mode. Um, and the M31 is 75 terahash. But the combined wattage, it should be 75 terahash at 3,600 watts for three units. For six grand versus paying 11 grand for the m31 which does virtually the same thing Just remember the wattage 36 so let's take a look now calculators obviously guys are just a guide let's take a look at the m31 so stickered look at that guys 80 uh, 80 terash uh 33 60 watts Virtually the same if you've got three M21s. Be 75 at 36. So of course a little bit different, but if you were to run three uh, M21s in regular mode, that'd be 90 terahash. Um, but of course then the wattage would be, you know, over 4,000 or... I'm starting to get a little out of hand with the information here. <laughs> um... The high power mode, oh, 5,400, but then you get 34 times 3, 100. <laughs> so, uh, if you had three of these units, you would run it um, in uh, overclocked uh, with Vinish firmware. They run 35 terahash. Um, it'd be almost 6,000 watts. Uh, but uh, still, in a, like, well, how else, where else can you buy 100 terahash for 6 grand? Um, but uh, definitely stick to the low power mode if you're residential. Um, and if you're industrial rates, I doubt you're watching this video because you know what you're doing. Um, that's not a knock on anyone. I'm just, this is definitely an informative video. I couldn't, I mean, I've been doing this eight years and I couldn't find any information on this. So with that said, thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps. Uh, I'll try and get more content. Uh, I'll try and keep uploading stuff. It's just 
so busy, but everyone tells me I gotta be uploading stuff, so I will keep up and uh, thank you for uh, watching.